what's up guys after all these months man you know what's in here guess what yes it's the little 502 e back from hubson hubson it took me a while but i got a hold of annie on there and i went and sent this back over there they took it in they fixed it said it was the motor so i got it back i'm gonna open it for the first time to see what the heck happened and what they did so Cool. At least it's all in bubble tape. All I did was just send the body. I didn't send any props or none of that stuff. So sent the rest of the parts so it could be put together. And, and yes, it did put it together. That's awesome. So she looks together. So in a few minutes, I'll go and uh, start up the motors and see if it works. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Donnie. I'm back again. All right, I just got this quad back from Hubson. Uh, they did some work on it, replaced the motors, said that I bought some faulty motors uh, that had Hubson name on it from Amazon. So they said they put the original motors back in and got everything squared away. Um, we're plugging it in now. And what's happening is um, I'm going to turn the controller on, plugging it in. Okay, I noticed they, they fixed the blue light, which is awesome. So they did fix that. The motors look new. They oiled them. I still got the steel bearings in there. Uh, they accidentally forgot to put my um, brass gears back on there. So I'll order those again if I could get this working right. Okay, so what's happening now for me? Let's see if I can get the glare off of there. Okay, it is not binding with the controller. So it's not telling me to calibrate the number one on here where you go in a circle and... Uh, so we're not linking with the controller right now for some reason. So I kind of wanted to document that on film. So I'm going to have to open it up, which I didn't want to because everything's all nice and clean and put back together. So I'm going to have to end up opening it up again and see if the satellite, see if they got that plugged in right up here. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I went ahead and took the quad apart. As you can see, um, all the connections are there. I mean, I took the plugs off, plugged them back in, and uh, so far I'm still not getting a connection with uh, the TX2, the quad itself. Um, you know, I I don't know what else to really look for on that. Um, I tried recalibrating uh, the controller um, by uh, holding the sticks over like this and then turning it on. And then I would go like this three times, three, and then holding this down for a second. I tried that. We'll plug it in. Okay, we got power to. 502e let me get this out of the light and as you can see there is no uh, number one on here it usually says number one to start calibrating to do the first compass calibration and it's not appearing so I'm getting no connection getting no connection you can see too that the t the RX right here for um, for the quad isn't even on there either so it's not we're still not getting connection um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this for a minute and I'll show you the last little trick and see if uh, see if I can get this. Um, actually, I can keep it plugged in. Okay, plug it in. I'm going to turn this on with this uh, camera button right here. I'm going to hold it, keep it pressed. So right now it's flashing the H and what it should be doing within a few seconds, this should already be beeping. It should make one beep sound and I should be able to let go of that trigger and it should be saying to do the first uh, compass uh, calibration but as you can see it is not doing it it's not connecting so hey, if any ideas guys please let me know uh, leave me a comment I sure appreciate it it looks like I'll be sending this probably back to Hubson and uh, I'll have to look at it again because like I said I don't see anything with the quad when I sent it in it was the motors kept burning up they said it was faulty motors uh, that uh, the place I ordered off of Amazon 
was uh, putting the Hubson name on it, but it wasn't Hubson Motors, they said. So they went and put their motors on and replaced those. Um, and they said that's all they had to do. And uh, they fixed the blue light on there. And uh, and that was it, you know. They put it all back together for me. But like I said, I, I took these, these plugs out, put them back in. Uh, they didn't, as far as I know, uh, they didn't mess with the GPS up here. But, uh, yeah, we're just not getting a link, so uh, I'm going to have to contact uh, Hubson again and see if I can't get uh, them to, uh, you know, take it back and take a look at it again. So, kind of bummed out. That's a bummer. Wanted to have it all ready for my boy again, but I guess that's out of the picture. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, any ideas, maybe something I'm missing. Sure appreciate it. Save me from having to pay for that shipping again. All right, cheers, guys. Happy flying.